Well, first of all, a tax is about revenue. I think I've shared many times with folks that we had three choices on the table that would have raised roughly $200 million that we need to close our budget gap. The first was property taxes, and our commissioners, not one commissioner, was prepared to support an increase in the property tax. The second was an increase in the sales tax. Two commissioners suggested that would be a good idea. One of, only one of them said they would vote for it. Um, and then we chose as a revenue generator the sweet and beverage tax, which had been enacted around the country, both for the revenue and because of the health benefits, but first and foremost because of the revenue. You know, a few weeks ago you said you were confident the pop tax would survive, and last week I believe it was, perhaps the week before that, you said you were hopeful it would survive. What's your word for this week? Hopeful. Why not kind of? Hopeful. You asked me a question, I answered hopeful. Thank you. One more question about how, how committed are you to the sweet beverage tax? You see that the other commissioners vote to repeal, of course, you have veto powers, but how how but how far are you willing to go to fight for this tax? Well, I made it quite clear that we enacted this tax because we needed the revenue. And we also saw ancillary health benefits. And actually I think I said at the time that the World Health Organization, among others, is encouraging nations and local units of government to enact sweet and beverage taxes to reduce consumption because of the effect on obesity and diabetes and heart disease and tooth decay. Um, that's still where I am. I guess for the record we should ask, if it is repealed, would you veto the repeal? I think I'll go back to my hopeful comment. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.